From Colorado to the moon, right now Lockheed Martin is working with Caltech and NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory to send up an orbiter. Now in this mission, they hope to send back data that can help bring us back to the moon. Your reporter, Sarah Habakowitz, shows us the technology before takeoff. A team here has been working on this orbiter for the last year and a half. They're hoping to learn more about water on the moon and if it can support future space travel or even a long-term presence. Lockheed Martin Colorado has a long history of sending big groundbreaking tech up to space. So this is the vehicle right here. But this uh, isn't necessarily one of those missions. We've, we've done these large flagship missions and these new frontiers and you know horizon class medium sized missions, but this is a fast small mission um, and we're going to have a really big impact. So the Lunar Trailblazer may be smaller than you'd expect and that's the point. Lockheed says the shorter timeline and smaller budget is a step towards more frequent space research. If we don't know what's happening out in our solar system and as times progress, if we don't know how we got to where we are, it's really hard for us to be prepared for where we might be going. Those little pieces. In this case, the Lunar Trailblazer and engineers like Trevor Merkley that built it could be preparing us for life on the moon. The, the goal of the mission is to figure out what is the location and the composition of water and things that are water-like on the moon. And that's to enable things for future uh, actual human-rated flights to the moon. After liftoff, it'll take a few months for the Trailblazer to get into orbit. Then it'll start sending back data for the next year or so. This is one of the antennas that will be communicating with Earth, uh, this little rectangular. So that's how you're going to keep track of where this is? Yes, and get the science data from the vehicle down to Earth. One small satellite in space, bringing us one leap closer to man back on the moon and beyond. Uh, it sometimes can be hard to believe when you look up in the sky and you see the moon away out there, then thinking that you're going to have something that you worked on is actually going to be all the way out there. Early next week, this is expected to ship down to Florida, where it'll hitch a ride with another lunar mission expected to take off for the moon later next month. Reporting in Littleton, Sarah Harbakowitz covering Colorado first.